Hello, this is Tron with Tron Tells the Truth. But first I would say, I told you so. How many times on this segment I said, I told you so? A lot of times since I started the segment in 2016. I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. What is so? Why is it now? Yeah, because the conservative Supreme Court is now getting a ban on the abortions. Well, how did they get that number? How did they get so many conservative judges in the Supreme Court? Yeah, they got it because they had a majority. They had Trump and they had a majority in the House and Senate. How did they get that? Yeah, by voting. Conservatives went on the vote, but the liberals, radicals, and people in the Senate didn't. So they make more rules so they can keep the vote for many generations to come so poor people, black people, and so on can't vote, so they can still hold a majority even they are the minority. I told you so. If you don't go and vote, if you're not patient, if you're not just, yeah, vote for the sake of your life. It looks like this. We had an election in France right now. With the choices between Macron or Le Pen. No other choices are good. But what you want? A rich bastard with so many faults or a fucking Nazi? A nationalist? A person who wants to ban Muslims in France? Oh, well, and you can say, oh, there are third choice. I can let my voice be heard by doing nothing. Now, that doesn't work that way. Because if you do that, we will get the fucking Nazi. During the 30s, the same thing happened. A lot of people didn't vote. So we get a fucking Nazi. Yeah. And when the Nazi got in power, nobody did anything. Do you know the Nazi party in Germany never got more than 35% of the votes. But it still had a fucking gridlock on Europe and the rest of the world. With millions of millions of dead people. Okay, that was a little far out of my segment. But now we can have a ban on abortions. We can change that. We can do something about it. If people go and fucking vote in the midterms, okay, there are Democrats who are assholes, corrupted by corrupt assholes. But you have a choice now. Do you want abortions or you don't? I always fucking hate this issue. I hate this issue because if you don't want abortions, you do other things. The, the, the funny thing, in no way, the amount of abortions is going down. Abortion are legal, but they will go down. Oh, so why have it go down? Because you have sexual education in Norway. Yeah, people get things that you do that you cannot get pregnant. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. But conservatives don't want that either. <laughs> no, no, they don't. So they keep on banning a lot of bullshit again and again and again. And they do that because. A lot of people don't vote, so they can't do so. This election comes now, it's going to be more important than ever. I told you that before too, and a lot of people are not going to vote anyway, because Bernie Sanders and his people are not in charge, but they're never going to be this century, because, again, <laughs> you don't vote. You can never get what you want in the first, so you have to settle up with something less till you can get on top. That is typical for all society. When I started working in my young age after I moved from home, I didn't get the best job I could. I had a shitty job. I had a lot of shitty jobs. I had to have those shitty jobs to survive. Well, I look uh, up and now, I'm never going to go back there. I don't remember the good force, but okay, I managed. They built me up to something better. This is what this election is also going to be about. Building up to something better. But if you stop don't voting, you will go back to Herman Tales. You will get your fucking shit conservative fuck-ups. And please, don't come to Europe and fuck it up even more. This was Tron with Tron Tells the Truth. Have a fucking nice evening.